Hi everybody, Mr. Grell here, coming to you with another video. I um, decided to do a different video today. I recently had, uh, you know, let, you know, everybody's got financial troubles from time to time, and and I had to make some choices. And the state says I can't starve the kids, or I have to provide them with electricity. So I guess it was comics I had to give up. So I had to uh, cancel some things, and one being uh, Tom's mystery mail call. And the other thing is, when I first started that, I had no idea what I liked, and I still don't really know who my favorite character is, but, and so every comic book was like something I'd never seen before. So Mr. Melko was actually pretty cool at the very beginning. Um, <clears throat> but I got it, after I canceled, I realized it brought up an interesting uh, opportunity, because I got it for around six months. I think it was exactly six months. So uh, I thought, hey, why don't I just do a six month review? You can see what I got. You can decide if you thought it was worth it or if you, uh, you've you never tried it before. Give you an opportunity. So in the mystery mail call, you get art. Somebody in the community provides art. And they're pretty cool. I've heard some people say that they like that the best part about it. Thanos one's probably my favorite. I somehow, even though I put these in a safe place so I wouldn't lose them, I somehow still managed to lose one of them. I mean, I'm sure it's here somewhere, but my mess is out of control. So, if you're unfamiliar with the Mystery Mail uh, call box, it's from Comic Tom 101. Uh, you can reach him on YouTube or Instagram. And you get <clears throat> one or two trades uh, and a few comics. Um, you get one trade if it's like an expensive trade or two uh, to make up the value. It was, I want to say it was like $25, $26 a month because I started, you know, six or seven. Well, it, I stopped it a few months now, but when I did it, it was, uh, I was grandfathering because I think it's a little bit more expensive than that now. When I first started, trades were something I didn't even know about. So the trade part was actually pretty cool for me because um, it gave me the opportunity to read books without having to buy them. And just have more stuff piled around everywhere. Um, so here's some of the trades I got. This is Punisher versus the Thunderbolts. I have not read this one yet. But I'm planning on it. X, The new X-Factor. I have not read this trade as well. But I think I have read some of the comics. Um, I also got Dr. Fate Countdown to Mystery. <clears throat> so then here's, a here's a situation here where the trade really helped. Because I, although I did hear Dr. Fate when I was a kid, I'm sure he was in cartoons or something. <clears throat> I never um, thought about like magic in the Marvel or DC world. And I, I realized I, I actually liked it. So not only do I like getting Dr. Fate, but it really uh, sent me over to Dr. Strange, which is one of my, one of my tops. This is Secret Avengers, Mission to Mars. I have read this one and it's really good. So that was the interesting thing about, you know, the trade game. This is Siege Dark Avengers. And this is Batman, or Batgirl, sorry, Birds of Prey. I think this is one of the ones I think I'm going to take to work tomorrow and read, because I kind of want to read it. I think there's a TV show or movie or something coming out, so I was like, eh, I'll read that, I have it. Hawk and Dove. Now here's one that is the very first trade I got from uh, Comic Tom and I actually really liked it and there's no way I would have picked up this. This, this is this is one of the positives definitely of getting a mystery mail call or any kind of mystery mailbox is that <clears throat> it forced you to try uh, trades <coughs> excuse me it forced you to try uh, comics that you never would have got. I never would have picked up Hawk and Dove and I actually really liked it. That was a, a cool story and a cool idea. Here's Green Arrow the Quiver hardcover book I have not taken out of the plastic yet. <laughs> and Iron Man, Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. That was the last one I got. So those are the trades, obviously. And so I'll go over some of the comics. I'll try to be fast about it. Um, I have Teen Titans, number 11. Aquaman, number 3. Azar, number 12. I don't know if he's fighting this, the tiger or if the tiger's helping him. 
Green Lantern, number 21. Catwoman, number one. Alpha Flight, Fear Itself, number two of eight. Daredevil, Man Without Fear, number 249. Awesome cover him fighting Wolverine. Can't beat that. The Rocket Raccoon, number five. Shout out to Comic Smurf. I don't think he watches my videos, but if he did, i find a way to get to you, but you probably already have it. <laughs> Generations, number one, Iron Man. Now, this was the only book that I got that, uh, if you can see here, I don't know if you see it. Can you see right there on the G and the E and the N? It was damaged. I did tell Tom he offered to uh, make it right, but it wasn't that big a deal. Um, I mean, it was like it was some super expensive book. But, you know, if it was good to know that if it was something I was upset about, that he was willing to make it right, obviously. Spider-Geddon, number two. Uh, this is Spider-Gwen, Ghost Spider. And signed by the artist. I believe Tom knows her. I think it was like his babysitter or something. But I remember I complained about not having any signatures. And then when I got all these books together, I uh, realized that I do. I had two signatures. There's one of them. Um, you can take a picture of your the book you got, the box. And then on Instagram, you tag Tom. Uh, it's usually like Mystery Mail Call in the Month. And then you have a chance to win a free uh, book. So I knew I had all the pictures. And so I just had to go through my collection to find them. <laughs> all the books took a while. Uh, <laughs> Rose City Comic Con. It is the program guide. Another probably says Tom more than that. Avengers number 311. X-Men number 300. The Shine Guinness. Hawkman number one. And these are just books I got every month, you know. <coughs> Excuse me again. Uh, Hulk Power Pack. I got Ghost Rider number 50, it looks like. Pretty cool cover. I got Batman Death of the Family. I think it's a new 52, number 15. Awesome Joker. Action Comics 1000. Uh, when these came out, I know the Batman one just did this or Detective Comics. Um, it was before I started collecting. Uh, so I missed out on paying all that money for those. Amazing Heroes. Miller's back. I don't know if that's Frank Miller or what. I, but that's a pretty cool cover. The Electra and Batman. <laughs> Obviously not. But it was so fun. Not that was fun. Doctor Strange, number 34. Um, and here's the other um, signature I have, and I didn't even realize it. Bishop is one of my favorites. Now, it's mostly from the cartoon. I've said that on other previous videos. But this is one that I, if I had any power at Marvel, I would say I want this one. With the beautiful hair. Look at that, man's man, huh? Uh, but I didn't realize it until I started looking because something caught my eye. It's also signed right there. I did not know that. So that's pretty awesome. And this is Batman at the Mercy of the Court, number seven. I think it's an alternate cover. And then I have the Black Panther, number four. So it's a pretty good mix. Of older and newer, I think. Uh, and this is the last box I got from Comic Tom. Uh, it came in it was Superman number one, uh, DC Universe Rebirth. The Amazing Spider Man number 556. Amazing Spider Man number 277. Black Spidey Guinness. 
And this one is a pretty cool one. It's the last book I got. Uh, the finances get better. You know, you never know. I, I'll probably, you know, do it again. Um, but I have a lot of comics now. So it's hard. Uh, it's Supergirl, number 398. It's a 15th center. And there you go. That's a pretty cool book. So there you go, guys. What do you think? Uh, got all those books, you know? Yeah, I don't... I've really paid attention if there's any super amazing uh, expensive ones. I don't, I don't really think so. I never want any of the crazy books that he gives away. He does usually give away, you know, uh, Giant Size X-Men was one time. Uh, First Appearance Punisher was once. I never want any of those, but... Like I said, when you're first collecting or if you're just trying to get one of those, it's, it's not, you know, it wasn't too bad. Um, I think it was, let's see, six months times 20, so 120, $130 probably. Um, so you just have to decide. Do you think those trades and this amount of books that you saw and what you saw was worth 130 or if you've been collecting for a while, maybe the 130 would be better spent getting a book that you really like. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you thought it was worth it. If, do you get the mystery mail call and what have you gotten out of it? And um, let's let me know what you think. Do you think it was worth it? Or do you think I should have canceled a long time ago? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And have a great night. Or day. <laughs> Bye.